guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video as some of you may know we are actually doing a home birth for baby number four so in this video i'm actually going to be going over all of the essentials that you'll need to prepare for a home birth so we decided to do a home birth for our fourth child because it's something that i've always you know kind of been into it's something that i've kind of done research with but with my first couple of children my first two children i was kind of scared and i didn't really know much about it but it was always something that i was interested in um and with this baby baby number four it's something that i have just honestly felt led by god to do um i've been praying about it when we first got pregnant it was almost like something that I just knew like instantly, like earlier on in my pregnancy, I was just like, babe, I wanna have a home birth. So I started doing a ton of research, literally looking at all kind of YouTube videos, going on Google. Um, we found our midwife. If you guys have not watched that video, I will put that link below for that video um, with our first midwife visit um, at the home birthing center. And so that was a really cool video. Like we went in and we looked at everything. You guys can see like how that appointment went. So I've been following up. So right now I'm currently 28 weeks pregnant, um, but I am a super like, I wanna be prepared, you know, and get everything started. So I just want to take you guys along this journey and show you guys exactly what's in my home birth kit in case you are, you know, considering having a home birth, you're interested in it, or you've already decided that you are having a home birth. And these are just some of the essentials that I've chosen to put in my kit for home. Um, some of them were on the list that my midwife gave me and others are just things that I've seen, you know, research that I've done, things that I've been interested in. So you'll see a mixture of those different things. Now, as you can see behind me, we have a birthing tub. Now my birthing center does offer a birthing tub, but and I would say 90% of the videos, by the time the midwives that I've watched on YouTube, by the time the midwives actually get to the house, the moms are already in the tub starting, you know, to go through their labor. So I didn't want to run into the problem of not having my own personal birthing tub and waiting for them to get here. I don't know, you know, even though they're on call, you have to be a certain amount of centimeters dilated or birthing for however their calculations are before they come. So I wanted to already have mine set up, blown up, you know, filled so that when I feel prepared to get in, I don't have to wait for them to come. So that's the first thing that you will see. So take a look at the birthing tub. We're gonna give you guys a little tour of it. It came in a box and I will show you guys that what it started off like and uh, Charles like pumped it up for us. So this is what the end result is. So it has the bottom part is actually like a cushion. So you're not like sitting on the ground. You have a little step here, I guess, to get in and out the pool or if you want to sit on it. Um, you also have a cup holder, you have handles, and it actually comes with a strap as well that you can put over the side of the tub if you want to like kind of bear down and birth that way. Um, and I also wanted to see the size of it ahead of time just so that I can figure out where I want to position it in the room because we have like big furniture. So I really wanted to see how big it was, where it'll fit, make sure that I blow it up, make sure there aren't any holes in it because that would be the worst if I'm actually starting labor and we take it out the box for the first time and it ends up not being able to blow up. So that's what we're doing here and then Along with that, we actually have this RV hose. So with this, you actually need a connector for your um, your shower head. So I didn't know that, like out of all the videos that I was watching, I was like, how do they fill this tub up? So you basically get this RV hose, you put the adapter here, you unscrew your shower head, and you attach this to your shower head in your bathroom, and you fill it up. So. This is what I have for the tub.
my birthing cart so that I can explain everything and just show you guys all the items that I have for my um, at home birthing kit. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with, I tried to put it in a little bit of order so that I could explain it, I won't miss anything. Um, the first order of business will be the drop cloths because as you guys know, births can be messy. So definitely wanna make sure that you protect your rugs and your floors, things like that when you're getting in and out the tub, making sure that you know you don't have water all over your carpets because we do have our room carpets here. So definitely gonna put the drop cloths down. I'll probably get like some painter's tape to kind of take down the floors, especially around the carpets. Um, and then we have our fitted mattress protector. So they actually tell you at the birthing center how they want you to set up the bed. So basically it's like you have a sheet down and you have a mattress protector and you have another sheet on top um, and then another mattress protector. You could actually use like a shower curtain liner, but I wanted something fitted because I don't want it to be moving around and all that. Um, so I'm gonna definitely, as soon as labor starts, I'm gonna like change out my sheets. So I bought a brand new set of sheets here. So we have some beige ones and some white ones just so that we can switch out. So then I may birth on the bed. I don't know where I'm gonna birth exactly. I'm not really biased to either birthing in the bed or in the tub or in the shower, wherever baby wants to come and whatever is comfortable, that's where he's gonna come. So, um, you know, once we birth, if I end up birthing on the bed or the bed gets, you know, messy from the birth, I will take off the first set of sheets and then the second set of sheets will be underneath. So I have two sets of sheets. And then I have black towels for when baby is born. I know I've seen a lot of YouTubers like, oh, I just got some old towels, but I want our baby to be in fresh, nice, soft towels. So I ended up finding these really nice soft towels um, at Target actually and i'm gonna wash them make sure they're all clean so that that way because this is going to literally be like the first thing that's going to touch his body and i want him to just feel magical and so soft and cozy so i got these towels and then we have these regular white towels as well try to pull those out um just some extra towels you know for if i want to take a shower or getting in and out the tub whatever get those towels done then I have regular hand towels. Shout out to my girl Jazz, who actually got me this really cute little um, box um, that I'm using to keep all of our linen in and these fuzzy sandals. So I'm gonna definitely have those on during my birth. And then she got me like a little shower, little wrap to go around, you know, as I'm gonna be in and out of water and wherever. So that's all in this bag. And then next I have my i guess to prepare the room um this will be like for like the bath and all that stuff and getting the bed together but i found these really nice cards they're like affirmation cards on etsy and i'm gonna hang these actually on these little lights that you like put a battery in and they light up so i'm gonna hang this along an area where ever we set the birthing tub up um, they're gonna be there just so I can read them. So like this one says, every discomfort can draw you deeper into his presence. Jesus endured the cross. I choose to birth my baby into the world with joy. Breathe oxygen slowly and deeply down to my baby. So they all say something different. They're about 30 cards. They're like $6 on Etsy. I ended up taking them down to get them printed and cut on cardstock. So this is what I'm gonna be using for my birth affirmation. And then I'm also um, gonna be using the Christian Hypnobirthing app, which a lot of the YouTubers have recommended. So it's a really good app. It helps you with breathing exercises and just, you know, relaxing your mind and bringing Jesus into your birth. So I've been practicing with that. That's been really, really helpful during this pregnancy down here i have this little comb i haven't used this with any of my other births but i heard that it's really good to kind of distract your brain um, when you're birthing with the pain so you basically just hold it here in your hand and you squeeze down and it's supposed to you know help you during birth so i do have this little comb so then the next thing that i have are my curtain string lights um, wherever we set the birthing tub up i'm actually going to hang these behind just to give it a nice ambiance 
you know, if we end up having the baby at nighttime, I'll turn them on. It'll give a nice little vibe. So got these also on Amazon. And if you guys want any of these items or, you know, the links, I can definitely put them down below. Just leave a comment and I can get that for you guys. And then Jazz also bought me this really nice oil diffuser and I ended up getting the Clary Sage essential oil, which they said is really good while you're birthing. So I have that set up in here. So once baby comes, I can get this going. When we start going through labor, I have my PJs here, nursing bra, and then I have, where's Savannah stuff? Oh, and then I got Savannah a little bathing suit for when we're going through birth. In case she wants to get in the tub with mommy, Carter already has some bathing um, swimming trunks. So I'll just use his swimming trunks. So she has her little bathing suit. Saman says he doesn't want to even be here. <laughs> My oldest son is 18 and he's like, Make, whenever you start labor, I'm leaving. So we didn't include him in the swimming trunk, you know, situation because he won't be here. But yeah, so I got the kids their swimming trunks so if they want to get in the tub. And then I have these Assurance under pads, which are like chuck pads. Um, I'll just show them to you. So these will go also on my bed so or wherever it is i'm like um laboring so let's just say that i'm starting to labor on the floor or in the bathroom on the floor or you know in the bed i'll put these down as an extra protection of layer um so that things won't get messy and you know all of that during labor so those are the chucks pads that we have and then moving on to when baby actually starts to come, I have a heating pad just in case I want that on my back, um, different things. I'm also planning on getting a TENS pad for my dad. He's actually a physical therapist. So I'll probably borrow a TENS pad, I mean a TENS, the TENS unit um, with the little pads um, that I can put on my back during labor. So I'll get that later on during, later on in my pregnancy. And then the midwives asked that I get two metal bowls. I don't know if one is for vomiting and one is for the placenta. I don't know, but <laughs> she told me to get two metal bowls. Don't know what's going inside of here, but got my two metal bowls. So I'll make sure those are clean and sterile. And then after baby is born, all this stuff on this side is I have my little mesh underwear, disposable postpartum underwear. They actually look pretty comfortable. Um, I've had all my other babies in the hospital, as I mentioned before. So they usually give you like those little white ones, but they only give them to you like, you only have a couple. And then when you get home, you're ruining your regular underwear. So these are pretty cool. Like they're super duper stretchy. They're super absorbent. Um, you know, they open up pretty wide so then they can go over your stomach area. You know, I hate after you have babies when stuff starts like riding down, like it's just not comfortable. Underwear are like either too high or too low and all that. So hopefully those work. I haven't used them before, but hopefully it'll work. All right, so then next I have my little, um, what is it called? A little peri wash bottle. Um, Cause as you moms know, um, you know, after you have a baby, it's pretty turned up down there. So I got this little peri wash bottle. I actually have this postpartum herb bath that I got on Etsy. Um, so it's for me and baby. And after we actually um, are finished birthing, I'll run a bath water with this and you put it inside your bath water, promotes after birth recovery. And it's actually good for baby's umbilical cord healing as well. So we have that. I love these little scrubbies when Savannah was born. They're like little brushes, but they really get all the gunk and stuff out of baby's hair. So I got a pack of those for baby so that we can make sure his scalp is nice and clean, all the gunk is out. And then I have some perineal balm for after um, baby is born. I have the little spray, nipple butter, cause you know, it takes a couple of weeks for your nipples to, you know, heal and get right for baby. Um, I have another herbal sits bath. I'm gonna try both of them over the course of the days after he's born just to see which one I like better. 
have my pads to go inside of my underwear. They told me to get peroxide. Don't know what that's for, but I got peroxide. This is what the hospital gave me when I was having my other babies. And it worked really good. It kind of numbed you down there. So I did get some of that. And then I also have his outfit. This is one of his outfits. I don't know if I'm settled on it yet, but it's really cute. It comes with a little hat and then it's like the little gown and then you tie it at the bottom. So this is his little gown that I got for him. So these are little bonus items from one of our subscribers, um, Ellen. She actually found our Amazon registry, which I haven't even posted on here yet, but she found our Amazon registry and literally I opened the mail one day and I was like, who, where did this come from? And it's really, it was actually on my registry though, the little butt pays, a swaddle that I wanted, and an actual hooded towel. And she took liberty and so sweet to just go on and find our Amazon registry. And she sent this to baby. Um, so it kind of sparked interest in me. And I said, wow, like, I wonder if our subscribers and our YouTube family would want to send the baby stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put our registry in the description below. So if anybody would like to actually send the baby anything, you know, whatever that's on our list, want to bless the baby, definitely go to the registry below. And then maybe we'll do like a virtual baby shower and we'll open all you guys' gifts. I think that'll be so cool. And then once baby gets here, you know, you guys can see him with all of his stuff that you guys sent. So definitely, um, if you're interested in sending the baby, little baby Jackson, anything, hit the link in the description below. And yeah, we'll do like a virtual baby shower. I think that'll be so cool. So yes, that is where we are. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I am now in the stages where I'm starting to get tired and you know, all of that. So I was like, let me do this video before I get too big and uncomfortable. So I hope that it was helpful. If you made it this far in the video, make sure, <laughs> make sure that you subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified with every video that we drop. Uh, like this video, share with any moms that may be wanting to have a home birth of their own um, of just our preparation, like I told you guys in the beginning, I'm gonna take you guys along the entire journey of this pregnancy and what it's like for us. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching so much and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. All these birth to